I really want to know what keeps you going, you know? It really keeps me going, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, damn, bro. It's definitely like, I ain't gonna lie. My son play a big part in that shit. My family, like me having my own family. I'm big on that. I always wanted to have my own family. Like, proud myself in that. Like, have my own yard, cut my own grass. Shit like that, you feel me? It's kind of corny, but it's not. To mm-hmm. me, that's what I, you feel me? Cause it's like, I grew up, yeah, I had separate uh, like dads and shit. But I did have a dad in my life, you know, I had a stepdad, I had a dad too, like same time. So it was like, it was cool, you feel me? But it's just like me, I don't know, bro. Like how my fans be fucking with me, bro, it'd be crazy to me, like at a lot of times. Like yeah. now I'm starting to realize it more and embrace it more. Cause I'm like, I understand it, you feel me? But it's just like, it's still crazy to me that the kids pop out for me, how they do when they come. Like, I just like, applaud them like i'm mm-hmm. thankful for them you feel me because like damn i could do some right now if i post have a show in la tonight right now the rocks or something all them niggas gonna come there bro like mm-hmm. they gonna all be there i'll probably sell it out and i ain't got no crazy promo nothing behind me right now that's just yeah. off the genuineness and the just the, you feel me me being me i guess Yo, 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 it's your boy, Hakeem, and you are watching Our Generation Music. And man, today, I'm with the man, the myth, the legend, my boy, Lil Skies. What's up, my boy? What's up, buddy? Thanks for having me. For of sure. course, man. We've been talking, me and Skies been, you know, back and forth in the DMs for a while now, just talking about doing this and getting on the right time. And overdue. Very overdue, overdue, man. Overdue, yeah. What you been on? I'm working, bro. That's what I'm back doing. I just been working, bro. I got tour coming up, so I'm getting ready for that. I just been working, shooting music videos, just getting content, you know what I mean? Just locked in the studio. Yeah, just in that mood. I feel that, man. Um, Definitely uh, digging the fit, first and foremost. Jorts with the uh, New Balance. You feel me? Good Good skater vibes right there. Good looks, bro. That's what I aim for. (laughs) Good skater vibes. You feel me? Um, I seen you was in uh, New York Fashion Week out yeah, there, you know, cool. getting some fits off, doing your thing. Yeah, it was cool. Um, what was the vibes like out there? It was cool. I wanted to um, go out there and do it. It was cool. I seen, I like, out there, bro, I ain't gonna lie. They really, like, take that shit to another level. Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah. you might see some shit you really never seen before. So that's what I like, though. I like them type of people. Like, And I talked to a couple of them, just the ones that I thought that, like, stood out you feel mm-hmm. me like crazy i just like it like just to see where they at in their head when you talk to them they be like smart and shit low key like people yeah. be thinking they crazy but like i just be fucking with it i don't know i'm very into that shit like fashion i want to get into it more like do more shit so is that, that just me like get my feet wet again you feel me i feel that so is that something that's been on your mind recently to get more into fashion where do you yes. feel like your entry point would be like, would you want to, like, start a brand or you want yeah, to start modeling? Yeah, I want to start a brand, but I want to do, like, all baggy shit. Baggy like, shit? Baggy shit. Yeah, yeah baggy, I'm... I like def- baggy shit, but I like, like, baggy shit, like, even baggy pants or baggy, like, George, mm-hmm. with, like, a small shirt. Then I like it with an oversized shirt, too, so mm-hmm. I'm, like, back and forth. I feel that. Yeah, I'm digging the baggy shit. I actually, yeah. I don't think I can't tell you the last time I wore some I'm trying pants. to be comfortable. Yeah, because I'm trying to be comfortable, bro, like. That's my thing right now. I'm trying to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. I got to be in this shit all day. I'm not trying to be moving around. Got to keep doing all this extra shit. Like, nah, I'm trying to be fly, but still comfortable. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, yeah. I'm definitely right now um, fucking with a lot of baggy shit and some comfy shit. You see me yeah, in there. Yeah, you got that shit good Drake. like a London man. A good London man. What you been watching? Because I just got done watching Top Boy. What did I watch? Uh, today I was just watching Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins before I came here. <laughs> a good one, yeah, a good yeah, one. You feel me? Yeah, that was it. I was watching that shit. What else did I watch? Uh, I watched Blue Streak with Martin Lawrence. Uh, oh. night. Classic. I ain't seen it since I was a kid, so like that shit was like nostalgia for me. 100%. And then what else did I watch? Um, I watched the movie, I think it's called like, damn, I was talking about it. It's called like, I don't know if it's Fatal. Mm-hmm. Or fail, but that shit was good as shit. It had damn, I forget, but it had light skin dude in it, and it had the girl, what's her name? I think Hillary Swink in it. Had her in it. It was good as shit, bro. Good mm-hmm. as shit. It was like a murder type joint. It was a good ass movie. But I just be, I'm in to right now. Like, 
I'd be on my phone a lot, just watching like YouTube interviews, like mm -hmm. shit on animals, no funny shit. I'm not obvious. Are you a Discovery <laughs> Channel yeah, type of nigga like, right now? Yeah, that's how my Instagram be too. Like the search bar. Yeah, like when you just go to your search page, like mm -hmm. it's a lot of animals and shit, like wildlife shit, and then that's fashion shit. That's probably it. So but like I watch a lot of interviews. I've been going back to like watching all my old favorite movies, all my old favorite interviews, mm -hmm. like, and just watching new interviews. Like, told you, I already told you, I watch all your shit. So anything you drop, that. I like the vlogs when you go to the shows and shit. That's my favorite shit. Cause like, I appreciate that. You're We're really showing another side. And even for me, like, I'm an art, I do that shit. Mm -hmm. like, but I'm like, it's like a fan point of view when I'm watching it. You get what yeah. I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Like, I can admit it. Like, I'll be like, damn, that's fire. Like, all right, he backstage. Now he's showing them doing this. Now he's showing them like, you want to see that? What do artists do? They get in the zone. What does he do? Yeah. Back say, how is his energy? Is he turn? Is he hype? Like most niggas be back there just like me, like <laughs> chilling. Like mean, <laughs> waiting for your manager. I was waiting. Yeah, come on, bro, give me the mic. Like y'all try to like, don't make me. I just like the calm. I call it the calm before the storm. Mm -hmm. I'm very calm. That's me anyways, like, that's why I smoke a lot. I just like to be chill and calm, because I got a lot of energy. That's why I let that shit out on stage. 100%. Nah, I, I think one thing you, you said that was important is, you know, being a fan and always being like a fan and a student. Obviously, yeah. right now you're watching a lot of movies. I'm studying and, and even new niggas, bro, like, everybody, bro. Like, I ain't scared to admit that. Like, I'm watching everybody's performances, all this. I like to learn, like, all right, what can I do? What can I do differently? Like, I'm not copying you, but I'm just real life. Like, I'd be intrigued. Now mm -hmm. I'm getting back into that. I'm, I was missing that feeling for a long time of like really being into the music and really being like, just want to keep going with this shit. It's like I lost it a little bit. You feel me? And I just was like, fuck it. I'm chilling. I'm good. So I, ain't, you know what I mean? I'm just on some shit. Getting my family straight now mm -hmm. that I'm on my downtime. But now it's like, I can't get my mind off it. Like normally I just be watching movies and shit, like I said, but like, nah, nah, I gotta be watching interviews and I gotta do this and do mm -hmm. that. Like it's just something with music every day. It gotta be something, you feel me? Yeah. And I'm getting back into that shit. Like it's been fun. It's like, I don't know. I'm like at a weird point in my life. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like fun. You feel me? It's like, I'm getting that back again. What? Feeling like excited about shit again. Like even though I'm living this dream, but dreaming again yeah you feel me that's amazing to hear man because you know yeah. even you being an artist and being self-aware and just be like yo yeah, i lost it at a certain point but now i'm like I'm a watching person, bro it's not like i ain't say i went crazy but it's just like it's a time of my life where like it's a lot going on and then i'm taking care of a lot too mm -hmm. so i'm trying to figure out i don't know how to deal with all this shit. i wear my heart on my sleeve as a lot of people know mm -hmm. so it's like I'm very open and my fans know that I was just open with a lot of shit. I feel like a lot of people be scared or certain shit or don't like to talk about certain things. Me, I'm like, I just sometimes let that shit out even when it shouldn't be said. You feel but that's me? what makes that's you an artist That's what makes though. me me though. That's what makes the artist, fans too, connect you know? to me too. So yeah. that's what I've been back on more with that too. It was, a t it was like a point too, bro. Like even where I felt like I was going through so much shit behind the scenes with the industry, I felt like I had to be tough. Like. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Even in the music, like, I had to switch up my sound. I had to get on some shit. It was just like in my head, like, cause I've been doing this shit since I was four years old. It's hard for me to explain it to people, but like, I'm like phases with this shit. This shit is really like a book because mm. it's like, I'm always at a new chapter or a new this or a new that. It's just something new every year. It's like another page. Every, I say every year is like another page to the book for mm -hmm. me, you feel me? You know, doing this since you're four and every, you know, basically every time you've been doing it, advancing and growing, it's like different seasons and shit. And I agree because like, you know, somebody has been watching your career for so long, bro. It's, it's actually insane. I remember mm -hmm. like the first day I met you, I think it was on Melrose, but you, Sui Generous, Damn. Or no, it was you and Nar. Damn, it was you, you and remember Nar. that, bro? Yeah, it was you and Nar pulled up in Bro, you know you never Porsche. told me this, like off camera? I didn't tell you that. No. <laughs> this is crazy. Keep going. Yeah, it was on Melrose. I remember this, but I'm just saying, like, he's a, he really remembers this. Yeah, it was out front of No Jumper. Uh, I think, like, man, like, you were just going absolutely insane. Yeah, that was cool. Nar, Nar, Nar had the Ferrari or some shit. It was a Porsche. Was, or, yeah, what was, I don't know what it was. It was a Ferrari. Porsche. It was like a 911 Porsche he was driving around. He pulled up, though, like, yeah, I'm going to take you in that. I was about to catch the Uber. 
ain't had no car, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? I'm telling you, we get a stage all that. No, I got the clothing brand and all that. He already out here turning up. Mm-hmm. Went out Cotty, so we was already tapped in. So it was like, we just put it together, and then that shit is, yeah, that's crazy, though, because that's when that was the start of a lot of, uh, that was the start of a lot of things. I didn't even realize it, too, because you don't realize it. Like, I tell people I wanted to speak on that in the interview. Like, as I'm, whatever, as people say, oh, I'm lit or something at this time, like, I'm not realizing at this time how lit I am. Like, yeah, I'm doing these shows and shit, but to me, it's like, I'm doing four or five, six shows a week right at a time, like, different places Mm -hmm. for, like, two years. So I'm doing them, but boom, then I go home. It's like, go home, be on my normal shit, you know, just chill with the fam type shit. And just start getting like, it was like a routine. I was doing it so much. It was like, it's kind of, I'm kind of glad I had that little sit down because it was good for me to like mm-hmm. dissect a lot of the real from the fake and this from the that, you know what I'm saying? Like you go through a lot through them years. So like now I'm at a place where like, I know the game, I know how the industry work, all this shit. And now as I'm independent, all that, I know how to like maneuver and move around out here. You feel me? Even as an independent artist, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, the game is fucking, the game's a game. Yeah, bro, <laughs> it is. The game is shicey. What do you feel like is one of the most important things that you've learned, you know, is your time in the music industry and something you could probably give? What well, Snoop like Dogg coming? told me. What? And my mom to my mom always, cause I had my mom with me when I did the Snoop Dogg interview. And my mom kept telling me that same shit, but I remembered it. He was like, I don't give a fuck what them people say or nothing. You be on every phone call, every email. Bro, to this day, like that's what straightened out a lot of my shit. Like I just mm-hmm. found out a lot of things. You start, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was blown up all this, but certain things weren't right, you feel me? So like, yeah. now I'm really on these calls, I'm on these emails, I'm on, you feel me? Like, I'm just, I didn't want to tap into the business shit because I know how crazy it is, but it's like, I had no choice because I'm not about to be a dummy, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care how people judge me how I look, I don't care what people say, but I'm not about to go like be a dummy and just be letting you play me and I'm not paying attention to what's going on around me. So mm-hmm. like. Then I started really just, you feel me? Snoop left me with some shit, bro. It was just like, but that was the biggest thing. It was just like, no matter what, you be on every phone call, I basically just saying like, you make sure you're in that room. Even when they say, oh, you don't need to be on this one. Nah, still be on it. Even if it's for a couple minutes, see what's going on. You gotta talk to them folks, let them know how you're feeling, fuck you. Cause it's different from you telling them your person or your manager or whatever, and they go back relaying the message. It's different mm-hmm. when they hearing you on the phone. No, I want it like this instead, or I want to do this. Since I've been doing that, shit, you feel me? Like, shit, it's good. Shit been going good, because, like, they see. Even the people I got work, working for me or working with me, all that they see, like, yo, Skies is on his mm-hmm. shit. Now I ain't just no, like, niggas never, nobody ever really ran me over in this shit, you feel me? But I just learned, even from, like, that label shit, you know what I'm saying? I learned a lot from that. It wasn't, like, all bad, you feel me? It was good. Yeah. It was a good thing. It changed my life. I needed that shit, bro. Where I come from, I like had to at the time, you feel me? And I was on some shit at the time. I was like, I was in some street shit. So it was like, all right, I'm gonna do this or do that. I had to really go broke. Like niggas don't know, I really went broke before my deal and really had to choose like, yo, it's this or that. Mm-hmm. And it was hard. Cause then you're going back home and I'm flying out here doing these meetings but then I'm going back home and I ain't got no bread. And I'm coming out here, me and my manager, we staying in a, like a one bedroom hotel for like, Two weeks, I recorded Life of Dark Rose. And I was just, we was eating, uh, we was getting bread sent from back home. Like mm-hmm. my mom looked out, you feel me? A couple people looked out, they knew where they are. But they would just send me like $20, $40. And we wouldn't ask for nothing crazy. We go get that shit from like the MoneyGram shit, right? Mm-hmm. Then we would get like the $20 dinner box. And me and my manager, we would split that shit. Like we eat that shit every day, bro, for two weeks. like. That's crazy. Every day I had to wait. I was just waiting on the check to clear and all that. You feel me? But it just was what it was. I was like, shit, I'm not going back home. Mm-hmm. This is time rappers sign. They go shopping. They go buy the car, all that. Like, nah, I just locked in. That's what made my shit different. People say, oh, you took off. Like, nah, I've been doing this shit for a while. That's what made me different. I ain't let them sit there and just, all right. It was like a development deal where they develop into artists. And you, over this time, you learn this. You learn how to do interviews. You learn that. that nigga i'm doing this shit bro like you feel me i told like show them folks i'm not playing like i'm here i'm yeah. ready to work that's what 
was separated me and made my shit just go. Like, you feel me? Because yeah. I was working, even everybody at the time, people pulling up to my session. I'm like, these, these niggas are bigger than me at the time, but they like, bro, you, like, you going in, bro, you got it, because you going in, and you, mm -hmm. you staying consistent, you going in, like, you're not playing, you can tell you're serious about it, like, so yeah, bro, that's just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it you know, you spoke on life is, um, or Dark Rose, mm -hmm. you know, the, the project skyrocketed you to the moon. Welcome to the rodeo, Red Roses, uh, Cole Bennett video, you know, mm -hmm. um, shout out Cole. Yeah, my boy Jandora. Jandora. Lust. Mm -hmm. That was one of my big ones. Like, yeah, bro, it was a lot of people. It was a. Um, it's five year anniversary right now, right? I guess so. I don't know, bro. I guess yeah. so. Is it? Is <laughs> yeah. it? Damn, that's five weird. year anniversary, yeah. man. You feel me? That's, that's the one feel? that took me like to this day, bro. I'ma always have to perform a couple songs from now on each set, just cause like, and I know the fans know they want that from me. I'ma still do the new shit, but I always gotta mix it in. Like I always, I'll hit them with something completely old though mm -hmm. from an older project. Like you did tease on your story that you're gonna do a part two. Right? Yeah, hell yeah. Are you still gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. But I'm like on some shit right now where I'm like, all right, I'm just getting the music out since I just turned independent. I'm just trying to release all this music. Mm -hmm. Like do a couple singles, you feel me? Get back in the scene. I might fuck around, drop a mixtape or something. 40 years up or some shit. Just cause like for the fans, you know what I mean? And then boom, I'm gonna do my album before the summer. And it's gonna be that, it's gonna be. Yeah. Wavy, I like that, me? man. Um. This house, um, I'm guessing a little bit after. This is where you used to live. We yeah, actually did the interview old house, in this, your old house. We, had, we interviewed in my old crib, yo. This is crazy. Like this is my old house where I used to live. And this is like a little bit after Life of the Dark Rose came out. Yeah, like, like I had a shit's house. Shit's moving now. Right? Yeah, shit's so, getting crazy. So this is like, all right. I had a house on West Hollywood for like a year. Boom, that year lease was up. But I'm. This is mm -hmm. when I just start getting on the road, like. Now I go on the road, I do Life of Dark Roads, then I get the little house West Hollywood stay there for a year. Then I come here, but now I'm really moving. When I come here, I'm really like, now people know who I am. Now I'm really moving around. I'm with, doing studio sessions, just like, oh, it just made more sense to be out here. Cause you know how it is. The good thing about yeah. being out here is like, you can actually be a rapper and just be comfortable on that tip. Like I'm saying, just be like, you can move around, you gotta worry about the police in such a way, like worrying about weed, smoking in the car, shit like that. Like where I'm from, that shit get you fried, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. shit like that just make it a little easier for you, you feel me? But it's like definitely connections and work and obviously like studios and all that shit, meeting people, clothing brands, I said, doing all that. Like I, when you live out here, you can do that shit so much more easier because a lot of motherfuckers are here or mm -hmm. can come here easy, you know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. I mean, it's crazy because, you know, we're just joking about it, all of it earlier. Is uh, the la only thing you left here are the beanbags. Yeah, but they still got them. <laughs> and they still got them. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, right when you walk in the door, too, like, that's crazy. Like, my man used to sleep on them shits. A couple of my guys used to sleep on them shits, mm -hmm. bro. Like, I used to sleep on the one, but I took that one. That shit's in my mom's basement now at the household water and shit. But I, it's crazy that they, you feel me, they still got them. That's hard. It's crazy, man. You see them big ass beanbags? Yeah. So, you know. Shit's the biggest shit, full body. You know, it's like, big beanbags. I just yeah. bought one for my house. You gotta bro. drag that shit. Like, that take two people, bro. Yeah. I just bought one for yeah, I just bought one for my house, but it was too big, so I had to end up giving it away. Yeah, but another see? thing, too. I had four. You had four of them? Yes, in the one room. Oh, wow. So it was like, bro. It's like a beanbag like, room? Yeah, like this <laughs> shit we're in right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. This was the beanbag room. Yeah. So one in each corner. Jeez, I can only imagine Biggest things shit. that happen in yeah. this room. I don't know. <laughs> 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 um, another cool thing, though, while you was living here, your brother, someone you you know you worked with close, PNB Rock, he lived up the street or something, right? Yeah, PNB, man. Talk PNB about, you know, him, PNB. his legacy, and, you know, y'all relationship. I'm glad you asked me about that, bro. I'm shit. P and B was like, all right, so he from Philly, right? I'm from like, I'm from a place like I was born in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, but mm -hmm. I grew up in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. So that's basically what I claim is Waynesboro, but that's like three. Where P and B live, it's like three hours and thirty minutes away from me. But we both connected on a level because he's from PA, 
I'm from PA, like we really from PA, like a part of PA, he from Philly, a part of PA I'm from is like outside Philly though, like it's like just the like country more type shit, you feel me? So we connected on that, but then just, that was more on some shit, he used to joke around, see rock funny, so mm -hmm. he like to joke and shit and smoke when we be smoking shit, he be joking, so we just started fucking around on that tip, like hanging out, shopping and shit, like he got me into like, this nigga had me on Rodeo shopping and shit, Spending like twenty, thirty thousand. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't be liking to do that shit. Cause mm -hmm. I be thinking about it. Even when I got, I don't care. I be like, bro, listen, bro. <laughs> I fuck with you, know. I know you put that shit on, nigga. But I'm not wearing them five thousand, six thousand dollar outfits every day, nigga. Like, you be drunk. He really go up there and spend that bag. Like, mm -hmm. but that's why I fuck with him, cause he made me pop it. Times I'm feeling low or whatever. He be like, nah, bro, you got to, because that's. You feel me? Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, he was that type of nigga, like, bring you up. Anytime he had shows, like, back home or it was close, I would always drive and go to the show. Or anytime I had one, he would come to my shit. You feel me? So it was like real brother shit. It yeah. was like really real brother shit. Like, that was one of my niggas. That's, that's the only reason why I still be, like, talking about him. I still even perform our, I got to perform our songs. You feel me? Because yeah. it's like, damn, this is my nigga. And, and how he went out to, I don't even want to speak on that, but like, I said, I do that shit with my girl and my son all the time, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. That could have been me. So that shit hit, it hit, it hit your soul different, you feel me? When yeah. you see that shit, like, people don't understand and then you're in the same profession. It don't matter if I wasn't here in LA at the time. It don't yeah. matter. Like, if I was back home across the world, I still felt it. I felt it in the air. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, you could feel that shit, bro. Yeah. So it's like different. Even when that shit went like, Nipsey, I don't even like to speak on that shit, but we were shooting this song. It was like me and Nar and shit, and that we were shooting this song when it happened with Cole. And Nar was like, bro, you can just feel that shit in the air. Mm -hmm. Nar, Nar said this. And I'm like, looked at him, I'm like, bro, this is crazy because some just don't feel right. And then we see that shit about Nipsey. It's like yeah. fucked up the whole, you feel me? The whole vibe. vibe. Like, I remember how we were at. That's crazy. It's like, I don't, that's why I like speaking on. Yeah. I don't like speaking on deaf. Yeah, we were we were outside outside of the No Jumper store doing a live stream, a Sunday live stream, and like they were in the chat like saying it. Where you know they I do, hate that shit. See, and that shit so, made me sick. So I was, terrible. I was recording and they did that. They was doing that shit with a certain rapper. I'm not saying his name. I was recording on live and he was doing that, and I'm just like that shit made me mad. I'm like I I'm hate about to snap, about but shit. I just got off my live immediately because I was like I don't react to nothing like that. But I'm like, why are y'all doing that? That was corny. That's not even cool. You yeah. feel me? Like, why would you joke about that? Nah, yeah, There's I hate- shit going on out here, bro. As we all know, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. shit going on. Oh God, bro, people are crazy, man. I think we make a joke out of two things that shouldn't be joked about. Like, I get comedy and shit, but just, right. I just feel like it's a time and place certain for certain things. shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's a time, yeah. And it's just I like, where y'all doing that? That's I crazy. You. I feel But time and place, man, my boy, 25th birthday. What right. was that like, man? You dropped a song, uh, mm -hmm. Wake Up. Yeah. What did you do, you know? I went to this place called Aki in my um, hometown. It's like a hibachi spot. My mom like booked me like a dinner. Cause I don't really be doing too much, bro. I was chilling with my son, mm -hmm. you feel me? I was just chilling with my family. I was on my family tip. Did the uh, family dinner, we ate and shit. Um, did I go to the studio? I don't think I went to the studio, right, bro? I don't know. I don't even think I went to the studio. I just chill, bro. It was like another normal day, you feel mm -hmm. me? I just thankful to God I made, you know, I made it to another year. Like, I'd be thankful, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, hey, I made it. Was there ever times you thought you wouldn't make it? Hell far? yeah, it'd be a lot of times, bro. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, because it's just like, my fear is like, I don't want to put my fear in there. I'm not about to speak on that. But you know what my, what I'm, I'll tell you about that off, more off camera, you mm -hmm. feel me? But I just don't even want to speak on that. But that's why I move how I move. Yeah. And I just, I'm low key, I'm in it now, I'm respectful, I'm nice, and I'm proud with nobody, you feel me? It's all love for me. Yeah. Like, I've been like that though. I always try to been like that because I've been seeing a lot of shit that's been coming. It's like you could, I wouldn't say you could feel it coming, but the game was just a lot of wild shit going on. So it's just mm -hmm. like, it's how happening. Do you, how do you like keep your, like, you know your mind right with all the crazy shit that goes on in your life being a young rapper and you know as someone now like ever since so my son my son just turned four years old right mm -hmm. so now it's like it's, it's, it's always been my son ever since i had my son bro like 
It's been a different motivation. That shit has pulled me out of any dark place, any time, any time. Like, you yeah. feel me? Like, it be my son. I just got to, like, be with my son. I don't know. I got to feel him. I got to touch him. I got to... That daddy shit, you feel me? Like, How now I do now? shit. He's four. Has, is there any, like, he's in the studio with you or anything like that? Yeah, so like I that? took him to the studio the first time, like, last week. Oh, wow. And because he been asking me, like, daddy, I want to go to the studio. I want to make a song. That's what he be saying. <laughs> I'm like, all right, we're going to see when you get in there, right? You're not going to be scared. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to make a song. I'm like, all right, so I took him in there. And he was just chilling though. He was just chilling. He met all the guys. Like he did good because he was a little shy at first, but he went in there. He dapped everybody up. You feel? He know what to do. Like <laughs> he was he's on a the rapper mode. Yeah, like he dapped everybody up. I put him. You feel me? He wanted to watch his little Spider Man. I put it on my phone. Chill. Talk with my manager. It was like 15 minutes, and we did. I just showed him it. But I'm gonna take him in there with me and do like a. You feel me? That's I just fun. popped up over there quick. I'm like, you know, he keep asking me. We driving by. We close. So let me just go over there. And, you know what I mean? Show him it real quick. Show him with it. Because now he's to the age where he's starting to understand more of what I do for a living and what I, you feel me? Like, he gets it now. That's amazing, man. Yeah. It's crazy because you started at like four, right? Yeah. yeah. So now he's starting at four. That's why I'm saying it's crazy. And you know, with the technology, you know, though, he's smart. Like, I know he was smarter than me when I was four, bro. Because them kids, they advance. Like, they yeah, they're the, the iPad babies. That's what the I'm saying. Kids. Yeah, he grow, they grow. Like, he grows so quick, bro. It's like, it's happening like this, you feel me? That's why I just try to enjoy it. Like my mom always told me, it's like, you better enjoy it while it's little. And I didn't, I didn't understand. I real life one of them dads, I be missing when my son was like a little baby. Mm. I mean, a little chunky ass and shit. Now he isn't even halfway tall as me. You feel me? Roblox every that? five yeah, seconds. Like, he can really, I love it though, cause now I can move around with him and he mm -hmm. can like really move with me cause he understand, he can. Yeah, bro. Like, if he's here right now, he be chilling. He wouldn't do nothing. If I say, look, daddy doing the interview, I'm chilling. He just sit on my lap and chill. Mm -hmm. He gonna sit right here and chill. That's amazing, man. You said you can move around with him and you're about to go yeah. on tour. You think you'll I'm take him on tour? I'm gonna bring him out to some dates. Yeah, I'm bringing you him are? out to like two or three. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep. I got to. That's the moment I've been waiting for. Like, we're like probably the yet. East Coast leg or something. Yeah, so it's and easier. I yeah, yeah. We're like family and shit. My mom, and everybody come. You feel me? Make it make sense. But yeah. I want to do that because I want to bring him out on the stage. I want him to see it. He sees it on it and shit. Like now I show him it, mm -hmm. but I want him to like see it. You feel me? It's going to be a surreal moment, I got him moment, his little man. headphones and everything already. Like, so he's good. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the baby, little kid so headphones. Yeah. yeah. I got him all that, bro. So he's ready. He's he's excited, actually. He's I can't excited. wait for you guys to do a song. It's crazy because yeah, you're seeing. Like, I ain't even like, you feel me? And I'm not pressing the envelope. Who's to say? <laughs> I ain't going to say it. Probably won't ever come out. Like. That's for me and my son to enjoy it. That's what he wanted to do it at that time, you feel me? But yeah. really, well, my son, like, bro, I do real things with him. Like, we ride a dirt bike, we cut the grass together. Like, I do real dad shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm on that time. And when I'm with him and all that, like, when I'm back home and all that, that's what I do. And then I go to the studio at, like, late, late at night, because that's when he go to bed at, like, 9, mm -hmm. 10 inch. So that's when I'm, like, you feel me? I'm really just involved with him. Like, that's my yeah. boy, you feel me? So, you just built a house out there, right? A big ass house? No, nah, I, I bought my mama house out there and I got like a cool little spot, some little chill shit right now in the tub, mm -hmm. some little chill shit. That's fire, man. Yeah. That's fire. It's good to you, you know, it's it's like you're raising him where you grew up too. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. I'm about to, we moving, I'm moving him next year, bro. Cause it's like, it's cool and all that, but it's like, it's time now. It been was time, honestly, but it's just like, shit, I'm such a, like now I'm more growing up though, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. don't like I love my mom, I love everybody, but I'm a, I feel more like a man now. I've been through a lot. I can handle my own situations. I can handle. You feel me? Like I just don't be feeling like I. I know I got the help, but I don't be needing. All. I'm the type of person. I'm always been independent. I like to do shit myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now that's the point I'm at in my life. Like. I still shout out to my mom though. She still be helping me like pay my bills because I don't understand certain shit. <laughs> Real you, shit. you gotta leave some stuff for your mom like, yeah, though. Man. I don't understand. Like I like mom, I don't get this. So I just have her do it and then it be done in two seconds. And mm -hmm. I'm spending two days or a week trying to figure that shit out. That's crazy. Like yeah. you just do it like that in two minutes. Like, damn. Okay. It's it's like all those memes that always go viral when Nah, shout out my mom, bro, because she really, like, she, like, that type of mom do anything for you, you feel me? Just mm -hmm. ask, that's like, you know what I'm saying? It's ask, you need some help or something, whatever, ask. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't ever really ask for help, it's just shit like that. I'm like, look, I don't know how to, 
I got the red for, but I don't know how to do that shit. Like, I'm gonna <laughs> help me set this shit up so I can figure, like, you know, she showed me. So now I done learned a lot. My mom just showed me a lot. Like, mm-hmm. she didn't show me a lot. And then my manager, his mom, she's very involved now, too. Yeah. Shout out to Kel. She helps a lot, too. She helped me get a lot of my shit straight, bro. You feel me? So, yeah. she's good. So, yeah, you know, another thing, you know, Skies is you, you are cemented in SoundCloud history, music history. Um, you know, talk a little bit about that because so it's crazy. We're literally like on a new generation with like the Yeats, this Ken Carson's and the Sofagos. I remember going to my jobs, like when I did have a job, even my SoundCloud days, like McDonald's. When I work at McDonald's, mm-hmm. get my paycheck, boom, I go to the studio. All right, I got to pay. I wasn't paying for the beats at the time. I was just getting certain beats like off YouTube and shit. And then I would, but I have to pay the engineer for the session. Then I got to pay for the gas money to get a ride to the session, you feel me? But then my engineer, the good thing about it at the time, shout out Marley, rest in peace Marley and shit. But he would like mix and master the song. So I would record five songs and this nigga would like master, mm-hmm. master before I leave. Like literally, bro. Like I wouldn't go back and be like, no, nah, I need you to change this. Like, no, nah, this nigga was like, just the way we was locked in, it was different. But I remember... SoundCloud's a way for me, bro, just like where I come from. Mm-hmm. It was the it was the platform for me to like, all right, I wanna drop music a lot, but I'm not trying to drop it on YouTube because I don't have like no I just know on YouTube, I'm like, I'm dropping songs and shit and I ain't really got the bread at this time to shoot hella videos. But I can get in the studio and work on and over time in like two months I can get enough money, make enough money to go to the studio and put together a little project get the uh, cover art done, you feel me, pay for that. Like, I would pay for everything, though, just so I ain't have to, like, I don't know, I just didn't like the, you feel me, like, mm-hmm. the any owe anybody anything. So I would always just, every little thing, but I remember that sound like I uploaded my own songs, like, for years, I, that's how I did it. Even with Red Roses, I uploaded that shit myself. Like, that's crazy, man. It's like, I think Landon helped me. Landon you know, did? I think about it. How I you guys, how's, how is you and Landon? Red Roses, that joint, we made like eight, seven, eight versions before we released it. Seven, eight versions of that song? Yeah. Why? A lot why? of it because of Landon, too. What? He was trying to change shit? Landon is like a, like... Perfectionist? Yeah. Like, I'm like that, too. But Landon, like, he, he, like, went back, changed some shit, added some shit. Then he, like, over a couple of days, he wanted to think about some shit. Then he boom, but then the master, that's the thing. It wasn't really us, it's the master. Because mm-hmm. now that's the part where we want the ooh, 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 and all that shit in the beat that I'm doing all that, it got to hit like, it can't, I don't want that to sound like my voice, that's supposed to sound like part of the beat. Mm-hmm. So when we got that final master back, you wouldn't even know that that was me saying that shit. You, that's part of, you would think that's part of the beat. Yeah. That's me using my voice though, literally as an instrument. Like um, That's not even an instrument, I don't think make a sound like that, but I just put it in there and made it a part of a beat, like a sound. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, 100%. And it was a big thing on it, like we just knew it was a big thing on it, like bro, we have to. Certain parts got to hit. That's the only thing. Certain parts were in, like, she going to fuck me like a porn star, a rock star. That shit got to hit. The mm. background, the shit I'm saying, all that, it has to hit a certain way. And I was agreeing with him. So we paying, like, $50 each time just to get a new master. Like, I go 25 he go 25 mm. You feel me? And after adding it up, I don't know what it was. I noticed, you know, even early on and back then, I don't know if people tell you this, but I, I thought you chose really good beats back in the day. Thank you. Really good beats. Thank you. Where do you feel like your ear, you know, for beat selection came from? I know you obviously work with Cash Money AP. He was big right. uploading his stuff right. on YouTube. You guys connected and made history together. Yeah, see, I come so I told you since I was doing music, I was four, so I grew up. My childhood was hip hop, like you mm-hmm. feel me. So I grew up on a lot of that old school, like shit. I was very into Lil Wayne. I was very into Fifty Cent. Um, I was in the G Unit, like. I was in the 50 Cent, but I was in the G Unit too, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Rap's like, well, like a little bit of everybody. Like, I was just very big though on like that shit. And I had my Wiz Khalifa, as I got older, I had my Wiz Khalifa phase, Mac Miller phase. It was shit like that. Like, it was just was these people. And very good people at choosing beats too. Yeah, Raising like, it was sure. just like, I felt like it was all a mix of everything that I was listening to. But then mm-hmm. I'm coming with my own sound, like, doing it my way. Like, that's all it was. It was just a mix of everything I grew up listening to. Because I can go back, though. Like, I grew up, I got grandfather, and then I got, like, different sides of family. So now I'm going over these households over here, over here. I'm hearing this type of music. Over here, I'm hearing... 
hood rap music over here. I'm hearing gospel music and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then I'm hearing like uh, rock music. Then I'm hearing, you feel me? So then it's just like a mixture of everything. It's just a melting pot of shit. Music, yeah. It's just a mixture of everything. Yeah. No, 100%. I think that was something that I noticed from you early on, was just like your beat selection, man. And then the thing was, too, I would start locking in with producers, like, start getting their names and shit and getting them to send me packs. That's how. So, like, all right, you get, you're figuring out my voice. You hear my voice. You're starting to understand the sound I'm looking for. So mm -hmm. now we mash it well together. It's like two peas in a pot, you feel me? Because now you know mm -hmm. what I'm aiming for. You feel me? And I know what you're aiming for. Now this shit just going, when we mash it, it's going to be. It's gonna be you feel fun. me? You got your, your new producer here with yeah, you. Yeah, I got Zerby. Shout out Zerby. He Zerby, what's up, man? Zerby, Come the camera, producer. Man. Yeah, say what's up real quick. Zerby, produced by Zerby. How Zerby. did you find Zerby? And, you know, you guys. And my, um, so my, my DJ and shit, he got a studio in my hometown called Connected Studios and shit. So Zerby just in there chilling like on some normal shit. I'm that type of person, bro. I just. I'm gonna say I won't connect with no person off the rip, but you even seen how like how our mm -hmm. shit was. It's like gotta build. That's like I watch, I talk to you and shit, build up, you know, cool before I call you my man's and all that. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. for him, for me to let him though, like really come in and record me and get in my personal space and I talk to him about my personal life and all that. Like he know, like bro, I don't do that just to anybody, bro. Like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, I'm on that type of time with him. Like we locked in. Yeah, he making me beats too. He doing a lot of my beats right now because this shit is fire. Like I'm like, why would I? I'm gonna do other people's beats. Was just like, bro, beats is hard as shit. And he record me, so it's like he record my engineer at the same time too. Mm -hmm. So it just make it like better. You feel me? And it's like in house. Yeah. yeah. No, but I, I still like. It. I'm still gonna work with other producers. I'm not saying I won't. I'm just saying, nah, bro, just got that shit people gonna see yeah they seeing it already right now but they gonna see like you feel my fans though they know it's up like. yeah definitely excited to see you guys work mm -hmm. more together um someone you know that you worked close with um uh, very you guys are very instrumental to the growth of each other's career is cole bennett yeah um you're just at summer smash um cole bennett. and you know it's grown so much and cole has grown so much into Crazy. this just mogul you know he's about to put a lyrical Crazy. lemonade album out you know, talk yeah. a little bit about you guys' your relationship, you know. Yeah, and I'm on the Lyrical Lemonade album. You know I'm on the Lyrical Oh, of course. Like, I know, come man. on. Don't <laughs> don't Shout out my brother Cole, shit, man. man. Like, come on now. See it's locked shit. in, man. I see this shit. Bro. You know what I love about Cole? That's my boy, though. That's how, He's that's a real dude, brother. bro. Like, it's just like, even real with, like, dude, Zerby, man. like, Zerby, like, my brother, like, I want y'all, even with, like, Jandora Media, like, that's my brother. Even I'm Sam, saying, Sam, my, my boy Sam, he been shooting a lot of my new shit. Like, that's, these are my, like, Look at them like how. All right, I look at them how everybody look at them. I mm -hmm. understand that point of view, but like to me, these are my brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like Cole was just like, damn, it's like we did it together, bro. Like I'm very like heartfelt type of nigga. Like I'm deep with it, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I came up with you. You feel me? It's just like that with Landon. So regardless, it's not nothing that can never break. I done had real fights with Cole mm -hmm. off camera though. That like you feel me? Mm -hmm. But that's my brother. And we always come back to each other. You get what I'm saying? Like, we never, like, it's like, all right, we might not agree on something, but then we're going to talk it out. Yeah, I might talk, not talk to you a couple days to get your space or something, but then we're going to come back. That's why I love it, because that's my brother. We yeah. should be able to do that. Even 100%. if we have a difference. All right, let's talk about it. You feel me? And be like, man, that's my brother, bro. I feel like anything. If I call him, if I really needed anything, I call him, he's going to be right there. That's just like Jindora. That's just like Sam. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, it's just like that with all of like, My boy Sam here too. Coming to camera too, yeah, Sam, man. Sam. Yeah. yeah. Like, y'all know how I move. They yeah. know Sam with me. Yes, like, Sam sir. shot my overseas vlog. He came with me in my overseas tour. Yeah. My overseas tour, I just did my 10 day joint. He was over there. He shot my vlogs and shit. And all. He was filming everything. So, yeah. yeah. No, of cool. course, man. I've known I've known Sam too yeah. for a minute. You know, um, good guy. He's a good. Yeah, guy. I, I'm I'm excited for the lyrical lemonade album. Obviously, I I knew you were gonna be on there because the thing I know about Cole is Cole's gonna stay very with the guys. Very interesting song too. Very interesting song. Mm -hmm. All right, can't interesting wait. Interesting combo. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know when I talk to you, right? Interesting combo. Oh yeah. Like different, right? Like you yeah. want. I'm not even saying it's different. I know that was like, his goal when I had. You know what to I'm him. saying? Like you're not. So. Yeah. yeah that's right. Really nice yeah, right. I know that was his yeah, goal. Yeah, that I, it's a good like, and I like how he did my verse. Like I'll say, I'll just say this: like, I'm so I'm, I gave Cole like three verses. Mm -hmm. 
Let me take a let me you take a picture saying? of you mid like, mid interview and send it to him. Yeah, no, he just texted me. <laughs> and he just texted me before the shit. He was like, bro, you better you better see me tomorrow. You gonna see me tomorrow, I gotta fight. I was like, bro, you already know. Like, of course I'm gonna see you, bro. What the fuck? I he's love Cole. I love Cole, man. Yeah, he's a good guy. Good guy, man. Yeah, I love that. Energy. You know, I feel like I, I think the loyalty he has to the people that helped, you know, help him big li- build never, up lyrical energy. Never forget. Never, never forget. And that I think that's you know something that's yeah, so shout out to about all the him. like you feel me even for them it was a big influence like famous ex bro that used to be my best friend before my best friend got locked mm-hmm. up for life. One of my best friends got locked up for life. It's just some dumb shit happened, but he got locked up for life, bro. But Famous X is all this nigga play all the time. So mm-hmm. when I go in the room, I'm like, you the hell? I get this drift from my wall. I'm just like, oh, all right. I'm yeah. in there. I'm getting it too. I'm like, oh, yeah, this nigga hard. Like, mm-hmm. now I'm locking on Dex. Like, I'm watching Cole and Dex. Like, they just going crazy at this time. They drop video after video. Like, mm-hmm. they going crazy, bro. Like, that show's fire. I just remember, like, all the, like, the wave, bro. Like, that was a good time, man. They're about to, time. I think he's at the anniversary it's show. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's coming like up. Ten, too. Like 10 years or something. Yeah, 10-year um, one. Congrats that's on that. That's crazy. But, um, yeah, you know, the it, it's it, your your career is interesting, you know, because you, you, you've been doing this since you were four. You said there's a lot of seasons and, you know, things yeah, change. Yeah, bro. You had your high moments. You had your low moments. Yes. You know, but what I really want to know what keeps you going, you know? It really keeps me going. I ain't going wild. Like, damn, bro. It's definitely like I ain't gonna my son play a big part in that shit. My family, like me having my own family, I'm big on that. I always wanted to have my own family, like pride myself in that, like have my own yard, cut my own grass, shit like that. You feel me? It's kind of corny, but it's not to mm-hmm. me. That's what I. You feel me? Because it's like I grew up. Yeah, I had separate uh, like dads and shit. But I did have a dad in my life. You know, I had a stepdad. I had a dad too, like same time. So it was like it was cool. You feel me? But. It's just like me. I don't know, bro. What's the question? I just ran off track. My nah, you're good. Uh, what keeps you going? Yeah, that's okay. So what keeps me going? Back to that. What keeps me going? Shit, bro. What keeps me... All right, me saying that the people still fuck with me. Like, how my fans be fucking with me, bro, it be crazy to me, like, at a lot of times. Like, yeah. now I'm starting to realize it more and embrace it more because I'm, like, I understand that. You feel me? But it's just, like, it's still crazy to me that kids pop out for me how they do and they come like i just like applaud them like i'm mm-hmm. thankful for them you feel me because like damn i could do some right now if i post to have a show in la tonight right now the rocks or something all them niggas gonna come there bro like mm-hmm. they gonna all be there i'll probably sell it out and i ain't got no crazy promo nothing behind me right now that's just yeah. off the genuineness and the just the, you feel me? Me being me, I guess. I don't know. I yeah. just be conf- I be crazy to me. Like even with the New York Fashion Week shit. Oh, it's really people pulled up here. It's really kids out here like waiting to buy my shit out this store, bro. Like what the fuck? I ain't even like know that. I'm just pulling up, thinking I'm taking pictures and shit. But there's real people in here, so I'm I'm gonna talk to you and talk about it. Let's talk and shit. I'm gonna give you a little combo and shit. You feel yeah. me? I think it's I think it's important now. You feel me? Like, even though I was overseas, I did my overseas shit. I was like, yeah, I you went in out. Manchester, I'll, right? Yeah, and I went out back. I went out back a couple of the shows. I'm like, yeah, let me just go like smoke, chill with the fans, just talk to them on some normal shit. Yeah, I'll take, you know, they want to take pictures and shit. Mm-hmm. But they showing me like my face tattooed all over them, all over there. That's all I'm saying. That's my face on people, like my whole face with my face tats and everything. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, that shit was fire. Like, shit like that, I keep you going, you feel me? Cause you're like, damn, all right. You know, you had your times, you like, sometimes you feel like the world hates you. It's like you against the world. Yeah. But it's like, you do got, at least I got the, at least I got this. Yeah. These people matter. Yeah, you, you gotta you focus, me? you gotta focus on and who and I'm, you. And yeah, like, fuck the negativity. Focus on the positive shit, you feel me? Like, that's what I've been on more so too. Like, I ain't entertaining none of that bullshit. I don't have the energy and the time. Yeah. You feel me? Like, no, 100%. 100%, man. Well, we, you know, we usually do this to close it out and everything. What is your message for our generation? My message for our generation mm-hmm. is how I would just say to keep going. I feel like a lot of times it's hard, even for me. I'm still learning that myself, but I'm, t- I tell myself that a lot. Like, bro, you got to keep going. Don't stop. Even when this shit feel like it's rocky or it might be about to sink. Bro, you got to keep going. That's the thing about life. It might be good one moment, it might be bad the next, but you got to keep going. And then I remember, too, 
you just somebody like, bro, I'm 25, I'm a young nigga. Mm -hmm. A lot of people is young that watch this show and all that, y'all young, bro, don't be like, I know it's hard not to stress out about a lot of this shit or life and these bills and how you gonna do this or how you gonna, if you got really live on your own and do all that, you gotta figure out how you gonna eat and all that, but you gonna be all right, just keep going. You gotta keep pushing, you gonna figure it out. Like that bill gonna get paid, that shit gonna get done. You just gotta mm -hmm. trust in the process, keep going. That's mm -hmm. it, like trust in the process, I would say. Cause that, you give up, you would never know what it could be. 100%, me? And I know I'm not done, I'm too young. Yeah, no, hundred percent. You know, yeah. it's 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 gonna be dope to see this. You know, this new resurgence of your career. Hell and everything yeah, and got this tour, my own at. tour coming up, my own headlining tour. Like, bro, I'm about to yeah, I'm about to have fun with this shit, man. I'm about to do my thing again. I'm excited. Like, that's me. That's guys. Mm -hmm. When you see me on stage, that's guys, bro. Like this guys right here too. But mm -hmm. This I'm chilling. This car right here, I'm chill, I'm mellow, vibed out. Yeah. Well, all right, my boy. For sure. Love, Love, my boy. You already know what it you is. You already know, man. Appreciate you for having me. Of course. Me. Our generation music.